the mountain is me. I am my own mountain. And I think for my entire journey, the biggest obstacle I've always had to overcome is myself. My self-doubts, my insecurities, my ego, my pride, my... And, and things like that, my, you know, and I think being able to address all of them throughout different phases of my journey has been so crucial in me being able to grow, overcome and get stronger. I think we all face setbacks and failures. That's for sure. We all face obstacles, challenges, but it's how you choose to overcome them or how you choose to approach them. I think, you know, for, for a large part of myself, it's also like remembering that, hey, it's not it's not about you at the end of the day, right? And how can I get over myself, get over comparing with others, you know, get over my insecurities of like wanting to be liked, you know, wanting to please people and, you know, not being able to um, put forth a certain, for example, feedback or an opinion just because I was f- afraid of offending someone. And I think all of these things I have, I've had to work through working through my triggers, right? Like, oh, why was it that when, when, when someone said something, it triggered me, it, it made me feel flustered, you know, I was angry. And I, when I, and as I peel back the layers and reflect, I realized that, oh, it was because, wow, she said something that hurt my ego. Now, how can I then, you know, not have such an easily bruised ego? How can I be stronger? How, And it's all of these things that, you know, Basically, that's why I say the mountain is me because learning how to get over myself at each time and and also then realizing at the end of the day that there's a lot of things that we can't control. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we respond. Mm -hmm. So when something terrible happens or when someone says something, I can choose how I want to respond. I can choose the perspective that I want to take out of it. I always believe that, you know, what happens to us are neutral events. But it is, mm-hmm. it is the stories that we tell ourselves in our minds about it that make it yep. negative or positive. So for me, that same amount of energy might as well, you know, be able to make it positive and do something good about it. I think along the way, I've also had to learn really to regulate, you know, um, so many times in life, in business, you know, there are so many ups and downs. And for a long time, whenever the business goes through a high, oh, I'm emotionally high. When when it, it fails or there's a setback, I crash along with it. And so my life has always been like so erratic in that sense. And I find myself like, oh my God, this is too much for me. It's like, oh, I'm going to get a heart attack anytime. <laughs> and I've had to learn how to become have more equanimity in my life, you know? And that means that, okay, whenever something happens, whenever something bad happens, when a failure happens, when a setback happens, when I feel that something, how can I, while, you know, give my chance, give myself the chance to mourn over it, cry over it, but not get sucked into it, right? So what I do is I give myself a time limit. When something bad happens, depending on the magnitude, when I'm hurt by something, I set a time limit, okay, this is 30 minutes, for example, I'm going to go to a corner, I'm going to cry, I'm going to replay the scene in my head, I'm going to be upset, I'm going to beat myself up, I'm going to blame the whole world. But when when my phone rings, when the, when the alarm comes on, I'm going to have to snooze a couple of times, but then I'm going to have <laughs> to force myself to get up and get out of it mentally, mm. emotionally, and physically. And I find yeah. that that helps me because instead of sweeping it under the carpet and not addressing it, because then it will creep up in some form later. Instead of that, I, I, I gave it the time of day to mourn over it, to throw it its funeral, to cry over it, to address it, you know. And I find that that for me is a healthier way to move on. Yet at the same time, not no dwelling in it for too long and being sucked by it and, or being crippled. Or, 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 yeah, but or, by, or being crippled by that negative emotion. So, little things like that along the way that I've really had to learn to get over myself. Um, that that's really that that is my biggest mountain. <laughs>